Hello! Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you to use one of the applications that's on my study bar. Uh, it's one of the very very simple ones on here that's a screen filter. But before we get to that we'll just uh, point something else out that you'll have noticed. Um, at the bottom of my screen you can actually see that I've got my taskbar showing today. Uh, that will become clear in a moment once we actually get going. But like I said the, uh, the, the application I want to show you is on my study bar in the reading section and it's called SS Overlay and it's a screen tint piece of software. So if we click onto that to get it started we'll see what happens okay now I'm going to minimize my study bar now you'll see straight away there's now a kind of pale filter um, on my screen but that is just a white filter what I'm going to show you and you'll see, this is why I have my taskbar open at the bottom here is if we move down to your icons at the bottom and we search for this one here SS overlay this funny kind of triangular thing and what we need to do is if we right click on that and then click on settings we actually open up the options so that we can change the overlay so that this could be altered um, to the way you want to use it to your own preferences and um, more to the preferences of the student who wants to use it as well so for example what we'll do is we'll click on to fuchsia and then we can see straight away the entire screen now is tinted with a fuchsia overlay the transparency bar here will alter just how transparent you want it to be you can make it very 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 dark or you can move it all the way back over to the other side and you'll see that that will make it you know very very see-through indeed so we'll just kind of put it on about there and we'll hit OK. Now, like I said, this will work over absolutely everything on your screen. So, for example, if we, um, oh, I don't know, we'll open a Word document. This is just a set of phrases that I've been using to put into um, some flashcards for Quizlet. So you can see here, um, Balabolka, these are all terms that are actually, you know, or uh, these are terms and applications that you'll find are to do with my study bar. So Balabolka, a more complex piece of text-to-speech software that has the ability to convert text into audio files. So as you can see there, the entire screen, again, is covered by that filter. So you can type, you can interact with the computer in any way you want, and the whole screen will be covered by it. So it's a very, very simple tool to use, very, very straightforward, and it is probably one of the easiest ones on here to, uh, to get to grips with. I'm just going to show you how you'd switch it off. You wanted to get rid of it. Again, you go down to the bottom of your icons here, and you right-click on there, and then all you have to do is tap Exit, and that's it. It's gone. Uh, thanks very much for checking this one out. If you are stuck or you need to have a look at this one in more detail or you just need a little bit of help with it, then obviously you can come and find me in the staff room uh, and I'm always available to give you a hand with any of the pieces of software that you've seen demonstrated in these videos. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.